Tonight we are learning more about what caused this chaos on Sugarloaf Mountain, a chairlift accident that left several people hurt. The preliminary investigation points to two failures tonight. News Center 5's Todd Kaskevich is here with the new information. Todd? And Heather, the initial problem was in one of the gearboxes, but then the situation became even more serious when redundant backup brake systems failed. Tonight, as skiers and snowboarders continue to recover from the chairlift accident Saturday morning at Sugarloaf, we're getting some answers about what caused the King Pine Quad to suddenly roll back about 460 feet, a scare causing some people to panic and a few to jump off. More than 200 people had to be evacuated. Sugarloaf investigators are now working with a state engineer. A preliminary investigation shows the incident was triggered by a major mechanical failure in one of two gearboxes connecting the lift's electric motor to its drive bullwheel. That led to a decoupling with the primary service brake. Redundant backup systems failed until finally the lift attendant applied the emergency brake, which slowed the rollback and eventually brought the lift to a full stop. Sugarloaf says the King Pine Quad passed a routine preventative maintenance test just a day before the incident. The resort says outside contractors conducted an oil analysis on January 19th and a vibration analysis on March 20th. Both tests found no abnormalities. Now, as Sugarloaf works to determine how such a significant problem could happen without warning, the resort is also fighting to restore confidence in its safety. We are, are doing everything in our power to respond to it and to reassure our guests that they can enjoy our mountain safely. The investigation is continuing. Tonight, it's not clear when the King Pine Quad will reopen or if it will reopen this season. Heather?